duplicate sets of dentures. Why would you ask for two? Because they use one to do the setup mm -hmm. on the articulator and make sure everything's exactly how they want it. Because mm -hmm. we actually, you know, we actually grind the teeth off the set you send us. Mm -hmm. But um, that's only if you're starting from completely from scratch and you've done and you've done a wax up, mm -hmm. and the wax up's not finished yet. I see. It's a brand new case, or you're doing you're making brand new dentures, and you do the wax up. Then mm -hmm. you can make two duplicate sets. One set goes off to us, and the other set you can use to. to do your articulation and everything else on, 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 on your articulator. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you don't do this two scan technique. You mm -hmm. just duplicate the denture, bond it to the plate, scan it in the mouth. Okay. Um, so that covers these guys. Under your surgery tab, and of course this hides your sleeve, this hides your abutment. Doing this chair side with a patient and walking them through and showing them why you need angulation. So here I I, I could retime that abutment, make sure it's going. See, I could make sure that abutment's going exactly where I want it. I'd probably make a smaller abutment, right? So it's not gonna fly there. Unless my implant was down more like that. But so. So that line's always there for the but abutment. If you do if you do a, a custom, custom abutment, abutment, yes, you yeah. can always time it. Okay which is ideal in a case like this, right? Mm -hmm. So you'd probably go back to this, and I'd probably go, ding, ding. I'd probably take my primer down, my post length down, down, down. You know, you'd, you'd probably really change, change your abutment down, maybe even take this down. I haven't messed with these in a while, so. Now, can the lab take this data and make a custom abutment from this? Currently, no, but very shortly, if they're a CEREC lab, mm -hmm. they'll be able to do that, yes. Okay. What you can do right now is the in-lab software has the same ability to design an abutment and have that abutment milled out of zirconia. Mm -hmm. So very shortly, when in-lab 4.0 gets fully launched and everything else, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to communicate and send that abutment off to the lab mm -hmm. and have them make it out of zirconia and give back to you. Mm -hmm. So yes, we're just waiting for all the mechanics side. But not now. Currently today, no, you couldn't do that. You could send them this and they could take measurements and figure it out and get it very close, mm -hmm. which is what some of them will do. So but there's really no sense in... At this point, other than educating your patient or mm -hmm. showing them why, they need, why there's an extra cost involved and for your own peace of mind, mm -hmm. restoratively, mm -hmm. that's all this is for currently. Okay. Very shortly, you'll be able to transfer that data off to a lab. Okay. Under your surgery tab, let's say you wake up one morning and have two cups of coffee and you decide, I'm going to do non-guided surgery today because that's, you know, that's what I've been doing forever. So this other tab, and you got your logo in there also, basically creates a surgical report. Mm -hmm. If you order a guide, we automatically create all the surgical reports that, that takes place. You get, you know, but if you're going to do it freehand, the surgical report opens up to page one and you have your three implant sites, right? Number 18, number 30, number 31. Each implant site has an extra page. So this is specific to 31 now. Shows all my cross-sectional views. Mm -hmm. This is specific to 30. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to do non-guided surgery, generate this report ahead of time. Because if something does happen and you get taken to court, they're going to ask for your surgical plan. And if you have done a 3D scan and you didn't do a surgical plan, that might even be worse than saying I don't even have a 3D scan. Oh. So you have to push that. Push this button, mm -hmm. then come through here. Now remember we could, I can put copy that to clipboard and paste it in somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I can export it to their current CCAT exam. So I can go like this one click and it dumps that report into CCAT. Then it saves it as part of the exam. This is for if you mean uh, CCAT or Sodexis? Pardon me, Sodexis. Okay. So this is basically for this is protect yourself because as soon as it, it's produced and saved, it's date stamped, right? Like all the other mm -hmm. stuff we do digitally. Mm -hmm. So if anything did happen, you would have a report that was date stamped prior to surgery showing your plan. Now whether that's good or bad, that's your call. But this is this is a way to create a surgical report if you're not doing guides. Okay. And that's the, that's the two options under surgery.
and you don't have a CAD CAM file. So let's do a couple things. I'm going to pop open the